All right, let's take a look at um, how we can get to some print output using QGIS. So we'll start with our uh, Alaska data, which so we've all got good access to that. On here, the uh, QGIS sample data, and the shape files. Okay, so we've got Alaska uh, arranged here, and I'm going to save this project now. When uh, we're saving this in um, answers or ass under answers, assignment nine two, or for you it would be assignment nine. Okay, uh, so we're bringing some data that we can overlay. And I'll bring in the major rivers, minor rivers, and the trees. The objective here is to um, show uh, the tree area in uh, the Fairbanks area. So that's my overlying goal. And I'd like to bring in the cities. And I don't have those cities here in the data that we've gotten. So out to uh, the internet and a Google search uh, brought me to a site called geonorth.com. Uh, GIS Alaska and um, from here uh, there's a nice listing of different places where we can get some information uh, GIS information from for Alaska so it's very uh, very useful site um, selecting one to going to the uh, clearinghouse uh, this is the Alaska uh, spatial data data, data clearinghouse and opening up a cultural line, we can get to populated places. And it gives us some information. Uh, one click here, and it takes us to the metadata that for that information. Uh, and right down here where the uh, linkage is, we can click and actually get some access to the data. But important to recognize with the, the metadata is this is a header file for the information and as you um, scroll down through you can get some information about how the the uh, projection was recorded so uh, scrolling down near the bottom uh, we reach the uh, spatial reference information uh, what we've got is a projection that's the Albers conical equal area and it's using the North American datum of, of 1983. So that's some information that we may need if we bring this data in. So selecting uh, or keeping this open for later reference and selecting the, the link will take us to um, a site that says, uh, well maybe I'll run this again, I've already done it once. It wants us to to enter our email address, and we need to look at their agreement and acknowledge that we've seen their agreement, and then uh, we're going to collect their data. And they'll send us a, a link to the data um, from um, back to our our uh, our email account. So we'll end up getting this link back here, and then uh, this will allow us to download it. Uh, it'll come in as a um, as a zip file as I've shown down here. So the the goal of this is um, we're going to show this in the folder. I'm going to right click on this and um, copy it. And we'll go out to assignment 9.2 and paste this in place. And now we'll go to Zip Genius and extract here. 
So what we've accomplished now, and now once you've unzipped it, you can delete the, the zip file and get rid of it. So we now have the populated places for, for Alaska, and we'll go back to our QGIS format. Now we should be able to bring these in. Now we can go to find those. Okay, so looking under Answers Assignment 9-2, uh, you can see we've got our, our populated places here, and I'm going to add this layer. Now, you notice that it's going to ask us for a reference system. So this is where uh, we could go back and see if we can remember um, what was given to us in the um, metadata. So uh, going back to the metadata, and scrolling down, uh, Albert's conical equal area. So given that, we can scroll around and find this material here and select it. And that's brought our, our data right on top. Now uh, this particular data uh, I only want to see when I'm very close into the Fairbanks area. So I'm going to go to its properties and with its labeling, I'm going to label the layer with the name and only render the label when it is somewhere around. 25. I believe that works. One too many zeros. Okay, so now when I when I zoom in and I get close enough. I can see the labels are, are showing up. They're not very legible, so uh, it would make sense to put a buffer around those labels. And we maybe draw a little couple millimeter buffer. And Offset from the point, um, some place here, and maybe give a little bit of offset to get them off the top. Um, okay. Okay. So now we can see uh, fairly decently uh, what our interest is, and. And get into an area here close enough. You can see we've got Fairbanks right there. So uh, we might uh, want to do a bookmark here. Okay, so, whoops. Okay, uh, now when we get out here ways, we probably don't even want to have that, um, that displayed. So we'll go to the properties once again and create a style that is rule based and we'll refine that rule, edit it, and put a scale range on there that is similar. Okay, then um, we'll be back in a few minutes to take a look at how we can start to 
enhance our map onto um, the print composer.